Boston College has beaten Syracuse just twice in the past eight years, and with the way things are going early on, you probably would have thought BC had a good chance at making it three. But a strong second half by the Orange fueled their way to a 77-68 win over those same BC Eagles. Tonight's story was Jesse Edwards scoring a season-high 27 points, and he was doing stuff down low that even Coach Bayheim has never seen him do before. And uh, I thought Jesse had a, he made some shots I haven't seen him make before. So that's a good that's a good thing. Made a couple of hooks and he, he, he played really he was really really good. I, mean, I also got a couple of good opportunities and then I don't know yeah. that's where you start to improvise your thing and then uh, uh, yeah I don't know I, I think I made it a couple <laughs> times not too many times in practice probably but uh, yeah. Stuff. They, they were relying on their big to play one-on-one -on -one with Jesse. Uh, I think Jesse got one of the best one-on-one -on -one bigs we have in, in our conference. So they picked their poison and it was the wrong poison. Also. It wasn't always smooth sailing for the Orange. As Boston College went on a bit of a run halfway through the second half, actually gaining the lead at one point. But Jim Beheim called timeout with eight minutes to go. And ever since then, the Orange were able to gain momentum back and take the lead. We, we haven't played well when we lose leads. We had to just talk about it. And we set up the lob for Jesse and worked, and then we got another. We got right back on top, so that, that was fortunate. Coach told us that we're right there, and we, we know that we can win those games. And coming out today and winning a, a, a game that we were down in the second half was really big for us. Tonight's win was huge for Syracuse, considering stopped a three-game losing streak in which two losses came at home. The Orange will try to make it two in a row Wednesday night against Florida State, where tip-off in Tallahassee is set for 7 o'clock. Reporting from Conti Forum, Anthony Vasquez, Citrus TV.